दिस इज रिसर्च मेथोडोलॉजी सेकेंड क्वेश्चन ऑन ऑप्टिमाइजेशन टेक्निक इट सेज सेल्समैन हैज टू ट्रेवल ऑल दीज सिटीज एंड हैज टू डू हेमल्टोनियन इन विच ही शुड स्टार्ट फ्रॉम वन सिटी एंड ही शुड मूव ऑन ऑल द नोट्स विच आर ऑल द अदर सिटीज एंड रिटर्न बैक टू द सिटी फ्रॉम विच ही स्टार्टड विदाउट री विजिटिंग अ सिटी ट्वाइस एक्सेप्ट द स्टार्टिंग नोट सो इफ फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ ही स्टार्ट फ्रॉम मुंबई he goes to kolkata then varanasi then jabalpur then vijayawada then jaipur then goes back to mumbai so this is one hamiltonian that is what it is need to be found and uh, the loop that is to be done has to be done with minimum distance so that minimum distance path can be found by genetic algorithm during our basic schooling college days we were doing it with shortest distance which is which comes as a natural common sense but genetic algorithm is some inspired sense uh, from uh, our human development or life development in which genes uh, mutate or cross over to produce new offsprings anyway we are not teaching genetic algorithm we are solving this example and the solution for this Uh, with the pop constraints population size 5 crossover probability 80% and uh, 1% mutation probability with these parameters let us begin answering the question so the date is not there anyway so this is the chart redrawn rewritten first step uh, in this is first uh, let's go for the initial population we have to produce a population of size 5 and we have to start let us say i start from city 1 and then go to other cities and i land up back to city 1 which is mumbai so i have numbered the cities so in between there can be many permutations of cities let us take a general permutation order this okay so let us take this and this and this and so on so generally let us take some permutations and begin from this set of parents or random solutions or chromosomes whatever you want to call them and these traversing paths does not include the city of starting and stopping points because it is common to all but when we will calculate the total tour length the total tour length then we will have to populate one on each side and calculate so let us begin with first we have generated random paths after that we have got their path length using our fitness function say some of the distances between these cities this that becomes the fitness score and you can also give them a rank so that you can clearly see which which chromosome is the fittest in this case it is a minimization problem using genetic algorithm so this is the this is the most uh, accepted case and then this is the least accepted uh, expected one anyway we get this total fitness score also in the next table i have drawn the parent chromosomes then the fitness score then we know that it is a minimization problem so we have to find the probability and we have to select this this has the highest probability of selection so uh, but this number is small this is small number if we divide it by total number this will be a very small number and the probability will not will be very low and will not be selected first so we have to invert the probability and for that what we do is we find relative fitness relative fit and relative fitness we uh, divide we find the total fitness and then divide each fitness score to get the relative fitness scores then sum them up get the total relative fitness score and now divide each relative fitness with the total fitness score to get the probabilities now you will notice that this rank 1 is having the highest probability so now the order of selection is correct and we can proceed further 
along with this probability of selection we will make cumulative distribution probability which is first parent will have same then sum of this and this will give this the sum of this and this it is cumulative effect and it adds up to one we have got the table with us now let us generate a random number uh, to choose a parent so this random number is greater than the cumulative one of the cumulative figures and that will be chosen as the first parent to create an offspring or child random number again how are we generating this random numbers we are using casio calculator which is allowed in exam to generate a random number uh, if you want to see how to calculate or i mean how to find a random number just press shift and this random function and press equal to their random numbers start popping out of the calculator so this is how we generate a random number and then first and second parents are found and after that one more uh, these are the parents which i have the chromosomes i have selected based on probability and this crop cumulative probability greater than that random number when that happens or random number should be lower than that the first cumulative probability of parent that is higher than the random number is chosen selected for uh, reproduction and these two parents reproduce through crossover or mutation so we choose another random number and if this random number is less than the given probability of crossover which is given in the question if you remember for 80% so it is less than 80% so we will perform the crossover and crossover you can it, we have to do single crossover point uh, so use this uh, you we just choose randomly wherever you want just one single crossover point and then this needs to be crossed over to parent one from here the gene needs to go there for this gene to land up here we need some adjustment why because if this goes here then two threes are there and revisiting our uh, we are uh, we are going into a violation of the traveling salesman problem um, requirement so first we will do a swap six will go there three will come here and then we will transfer this gene which will keep the number of nodes not identical distinct so after the swapping we will receive this and six will be go going there and then this can be pushed up and this is successfully transferred member from p2 member means this gene from p2 to p1 and uh, note that four is uh, is shareable without any swapping and this is how we have produced an offspring this is an offspring uh, or a child this is the first child similarly we can produce second child and uh, then after producing the two child let's go for if mutation can be done we generate a random number it is less than mutation probability uh, is it it is not so we are not going to do any mutation now next step is replacement will these child or are these child fit enough to replace the population let us see there has a there is a selection pressure also in which we will discuss later so this is the population initial size 5 population with these tores and tore lengths then the children have these tore lengths and uh, clearly you can see that the tour length is lesser than these so these children will replace some of these so survival of the fittest works here and the numbers uh, which are large will be they will be dead kicked out so eliticism or survival of fittest is that the elite ones get inside and others go outside so so we will preserve the elite member in the initial population and there will be selection pressure rather than this going into the details I think uh, everything is now repetitive once I have explained the steps so crossover is happening mutation is happening 
tour length is being calculated new children then new population so new population is created after kicking out the or the parents that die and are replaced by a fit relatively fit children uh, so i must have worked out some more children with lesser tour lengths and this becomes the new population and this be, this allows us to start our second iteration so our second iteration goes like this to keep the video short rather than discussing the same thing again i am just showing you how it has been done it, this step is repetitive since it is a second iteration and it keeps going on we are trying to search for children who are fit as compared to the population and in this example i realized that the first population already had the answer that i noted so die replaced retained 10% selection pressure and this is the p5 has, has survived from first population it is like crocodile alligator genes which have survived longest in our evolution uh, of uh, our planet anyway so p5 survives new children are born through crossover parent selection crossover mutation and they keep replacing the old ones and uh, this keeps going on it took me two days whole two days to solve this problem and on the third day in morning without sleeping throughout the night i worked and i have reached uh, the to the completion of this problem uh, which is ending up with